Les Priya, it's over to you now. And you look tired. You have been busy. Where are you right now? Manipur or somewhere else? Ah, uh, in Delhi. I'm at home. Oh, you have been traveling. I keep on looking at your pictures, and you're so difficult to get. Yeah, right. If you keep and on traveling. More, and I'm more busy tomorrow on fifth June, as it's World Environment Day. Hmm. You know, I I I've lived in Northeast for ten years. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. I was in Assam. I was in Tejpur. So I had a lot of students from Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland, Aizur. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to have you in this show. And we have a nice video. Your video and DW uh, coverage of COP twenty five. So do you want to? Do we play the video first, or you have to go so we can talk to you first? No, that's fine. You can play the video first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's your video, so it's fine. This place is feeling so happy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, so she is all of eleven years old now. Uh, I'm going to turn eleven uh, by October two. Okay, so Lispria, I'll give the stage to you. After that, Judy, I am so sorry. Uh, waiting is still after Lispria finishes because she has a lot of events lined up for tomorrow. Then Judy and Winnie, I would request you to join back. Then we will have our friends from Ecuador followed by Georgia. So the session is packed until twelve o'clock tomorrow morning. And Lispria, you are most welcome. Any other session, you can join in for five minutes. Chip in. Uh, I hand over the stage to you. Please go on. You have to make a presentation or something. Uh, okay. So hi everyone. Nice to meet you all. And um, thank you so much, Act Now, for inviting me in this event. And I'm very happy to see you all today. So uh, my name is Lispria Kumujam. I'm ten years old. Engine. a climate and environmental activist and also the founder of the child movement i'm fighting to save our planet and our future i have born in manipur which is a small beautiful not eastern state of india bordered in myanmar but i have grown up in bhubaneswar odisha due to my schooling My home in Odisha was hit by Cyclone Tidley in 2018 and Cyclone Fani in 2019. So because of the incidents, I have moved to New Delhi. And again, my life became very messy due to the high air pollution level there in Delhi. So all such incidents I met in my young life turns me into a child climate activist. You see, climate change is not only for me or for you or for someone else. Climate change problem is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world, are already the victim of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. My country, India. is facing lots of environmental issues like floods droughts heat waves cyclones locust forest fire etc at the same time so these are all the impact of climate change we must act now to save our planet and our future i have a dream where there are no coal power plants and thermal power plants and replace it by clean renewable energy i have a dream where there are more bicycles on roads instead of more motor vehicles i have a dream where all the children living in this world have the clean air to breathe the clean water to drink and the clean plan to live asking clean air to breathe clean water to drink and clean plan to live is all our basic rights and i strongly believe that all the children can lead the change and now i would like to give a small message to all the children of the world children must tell their parents that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle or they can use the public transport like uh, buses and metros for far distances 
uh, uh, we should not cut trees, we should plant more trees. If, if you cut one tree, then plant minimum 10 to 20 trees. Please don't use single-use plastic at your home. And we should stop throwing garbage and plastic on streets, oceans, rivers, seas, and any other places. Uh, we should ride uh, more bicycles on, uh, on uh, we should ride more bicycle and uh, we should start planting lots of trees as uh, they're one of the ultimate solution to fight the climate change. And um, today I would like to give, uh, I would like to tell something to everyone living in this world from my little heart. We all know that we are facing a pandemic on one side and floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts, forest fires, etc. on the other side. Now, this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up our eyes. This is the time to send your children to fight for their own survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can give to their children is not a beautiful house, expensive cars, or a lot of money. The best gift parents can give to their children is a beautiful green planet. To give this planet, you have to change yourself. If you can change yourself, then you can change your family. If you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then you can change the whole world. Change means empowerment. Empowerment means independent and independent means freedom. Freedom is when you can protect your land environment. Freedom is when you can protect your futures, your children's future, culture and health. Freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex, or any other differences. Freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when you are out of hunger. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. So fight for your freedom and all our little things can make a huge difference. Thank you, Jehan. Thank you, Liz Priya. You are a very dangerous girl. If you change everything, there will be nothing left to change. So what will you do? <laughs> like, okay. if there's nothing left to change, then it will be like a green. If there would be a greener earth to live, a cleaner earth to live for all of us, for all the children, like in my age and all, and for all the people living in this world, then it would be a great place to live. <laughs> no, human beings are very dangerous. They'll find something else to do. Yes. Anyway, right. just just <laughs> just joking. Thank you so much. That was this was very nice of you to be with us. And I know that you are very busy for tomorrow's events also. Right. Uh, yeah, a little bit tight on the schedule. So if you can stay on or you can pop in any time until twelve o'clock tomorrow, I'll be very happy to see you. Right now, I think you have to go.